Hey yo, let me tell y'all something. This is a really good fucking quote, and I'm not even gonna act like I made this shit up. Cause I didn't make this shit up. I read this shit, and this gave me the fucking reason to go. Not today, but it was yesterday. But like I said, it was a good fucking quote. So, anyways, in life, you know, there's a lot of shit that's good for us that we should do. That, you know, we make a lot of excuses not to do. For example, I'm gonna use me right now. I usually, like I said, I usually don't get that personal because a lot of shit is none of nobody's business. But I'll get into it right now. So, anyways, 31 years old. Fucking about maybe five, six months ago, I started getting like fucking uh, pressure headaches. Right? I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Fucking went to the doctor. You know, they just give you medicine to cover the, the symptoms. That they have that do test. So I came to find out that I have sinuses. At 31 fucking years old. Never once in the last 30 years of my life did I have sinus pressure headaches. And basically that's what I get. That's the only thing I get from my allergies. It's sinus pressure headaches. Some shit is the fucking worst. You feel pressure here in your nose. On your top of your forehead, side of your fucking head, it is fucking garbage, man. That whoever has that, you know that shit is the fucking worst. No pain involved. It's just fucking annoying. You feel like your head's floating above your shoulders. But anyways, I was get I was getting that right, and um, I started hitting the gym a lot hard. I was doing cardio in the morning, fucking weights at night. I noticed my airways, everything. Whatever the fuck it is on my face, everything started opening up more. So I had it a lot less than I normally did. And it went away for a long time. But then I noticed that once I, you know, backed off from the gym slightly, guess what? The shit will come back full force. Like uh, the dumbass that I am, I was like, damn, so I got to keep, fuck. You know, you just feel it here, here, there, and everywhere and shit. But anyways... About two days ago, maybe three, maybe I think two. I woke up and I was just, I just, I already knew it was coming. I was like, man, it's hitting harder than ever and shit. I know I'm gonna feel like this later on. <clears throat> then I read a quote from somebody on Instagram that were like, if you do easy going stuff, your life is going to be hard. But if you do hard stuff, your life is going to be easy. I was like, holy shit. That's a yo, let me tell you something. Going to the gym, trying to take care of yourself, trying to eat right is very hard to do. Which is why a lot of fucking people don't do it. A lot of people do not fucking do that. Like, I ain't gonna lie, with my sinuses, when I go fucking to the gym, my shit, I feel fucking great for most of the day, you know? But it's just the thing of, you know, doing something you really don't have to, but you make yourself do it. The accomplishment after that. The way you fucking feel, the way you look, a lot of shit. But I'm not just trying to point it on to the gym. I'm just trying to say that, you know, there's a lot of people out there that do the minimum. And those are people that break down really early in fucking life. Like, they don't fucking try to do anything extra than what they have to do. And those people usually don't last that long, man. Not to say that I have the booklet or anything on fucking life, but I'm just saying, that shit makes sense. So, like I said, if you do easy shit, your life is going to be hard. If you do hard shit, your life is going to be fucking easy. For the most part. 